Norway is a country of fjords, deep valleys and hills carved by glacier during the last ice age. They make the Norwegian landscape very mountainous. But these mountains pose a huge challenge for a freight train carrying a load that weighs more than seven blue whales. The landscape itself, challenge for the driver. It's not flat and straightforward. The train makes it through Hernafoss's winding bends. Now, Sandra faces the next test. The track ahead follows steep inclines, including a hill that rises 100 feet in less than a mile. This incline may not sound like much, but for a train steel wheels, it's a monumental challenge. When you have forces working against you uh, uphill, you have to uh, work hard. For a train, having steel wheels running on smooth steel tracks is both a blessing and a curse. On the flat, it can roll effortlessly and pull five times more weight per horsepower than a truck. But on a hill, the steel wheels lose their grip on the smooth steel rails and the heavy load pulls the train back. This gets even worse when it rains. And once the wheels get into a spin on a hill, it's game over. Norway's unpredictable autumn weather makes the mountainous landscape even more precarious for the 1,700-ton train to climb. And a recent sprinkling of rain is the last thing Sandra needs. Hill during wet weather is extra difficult. To stop it getting stuck on an incline, this fully loaded freight train packs an ace up its sleeve. Hanging in front of each wheel is a metal box that can hold 13 gallons of sand. A small heating element inside the box keeps the sand warm and dry, even in the cold Norwegian autumn. A compressor fitted with two heavy-duty screws shoots compressed air into the box to blast a jet of dry sand under the wheels. This gives the train traction even on the steepest, wettest climbs. Sandra switches on the sandbox and fires a blast of sand in front of the wheels. The secret weapon for getting up hills is uh, the sandboxes. The quartz grains in the sand are harder than steel and dig into any small grooves in the wheel or rail. The sandblasted wheels grip the track. The train claws its way up the hills. Sand is definitely a lifesaver. It wouldn't be possible sometimes without the sandboxes. It's vital that the sandboxes work without fail so the train can navigate Norway's mountainous landscape. But the sandboxes are located next to the wheel underneath the train, which makes them vulnerable to wear and tear. Even losing one sandbox could uh, cause trouble. 